Here we go, video three of drawing right and left. So earlier I was looking at a drawing that had a character in it that was wearing overalls and they were sort of in like a twisted or turning position. And one thing I'd like to get better at is drawing clothing. So this will just be a quick drawing of part of what I remember seeing. And going forward, I'll try to point out which drawings were inspired by a reference and which drawings were completely from my imagination. And the main way I'm trying to create depth in this drawing is by using different line thicknesses. Now, just as an outline, this isn't looking too bad. I'd give it like a 5 out of 10. But in the future, I'll be doing more drawings that have more of a buildup of texture that use different shading effects. Another important thing to keep track of is overlapping parts. Now, it's not that relevant in this drawing, where it's more just like part of a person or part of a piece of clothing. But for a full figure drawing, you might have, depending on the angle, like the shoulder in front of the torso, or depending on what the character is wearing, the hat in front of the face, or the belt on top of the jeans. But that kind of goes back to the first video with the simple overlapping patterns. Just that in this case, different things are overlapping rather than the same thing repeated over again. And one other thing I'd like to mention for this is that you can probably notice that while using the ballpoint pen here, I kind of have to go back and forth a little bit if I want to make a thicker line. I do have some fountain pens, and it would be easier to make thicker lines with a fountain pen. But for now, I'll be sticking to ballpoint pens just for the controllability and to avoid some of the blotches and splotches you can get with a fountain pen. And that's it for video three of drawing right and left.